What is going on everybody and welcome back to some more Plague Tale Requiem here. So we're going to be continuing on where we left off in the last episode. So we'd um, breached uh, this weird thing that's going on Come. here. I'm sure there are extraordinary things waiting. Yeah. <laughs> Looking for the birds still at the moment. It's still chapter 9 at the moment. What's all this? Are we the first to come in here? Oh, a tent! You're right. It looks untouched. Too sacred for them, maybe? Hey, do you know whose room it is? It is. It's Basilius's room. Just imagine. He was living here. Playing here. Sitting where you sit. Isn't that astonishing? Yes! And he loved tents, just like you. You love tents? Me too. He had a phoenix! Yes. Maybe he dreamt the same dream as you. Let's see what else he left us. I've quite enjoyed this game. This game has been pretty epic so far. No, the storytelling's been so fantastic. That was his bed. Beautiful. This Basilius was treated like a king. Maybe he was a king. King Basilius. Look. That's a lovely horse. It's your size. Pretty sure he was your age. Yes. shape of the armor what of it it's a lady's armor oh Aelia this is her room of course she was his protector protector the carrier's personal guard like me for Hugo she looked strong Sword and spears. Wow, look at the axe too. I wonder if they were put to use. They built this place to avoid it. The carrier draws attention. Valuable tiny creatures. Look, wax tablets. They're carved. He drew her. And there, he drew himself with her. He loved her. It looks like they spent a lot of time together. Just like us. This is so strange. It is. Let's keep on. Toys. He was coming here to play with her. And she let him. She was the best kind of knight. I would have loved to meet them. No. <laughs> this is crazy. I feel like... Like I know them. Like Basil could have been my friend. I know what you mean. Oh, look! Huh, that bird again. Its shape. It's the Order symbol. The phoenix is the Order. It's just that. Um, sorry, boy. But no! That explains why it stands above the child on their frescoes. They thought they were better than him. They didn't care about him. It doesn't change why we're here. Come, let's finish this first, right? <laughs> I'll be damned. <sighs> What's this now? An alchemy laboratory. Can we go back now? But it looks exactly like what you're searching for, no? Yes, but... <laughs> no, you're right. Look for anything that could lead to an elixir. A, a potion, like books, drawings, maybe raw materials. On it. Empty. No! What the hell? Hey! Quieter. We'll find something. Uh, sorry. 
Lucas, what were they making in these things? Lord, give me something, please. This is all centuries old. What do you expect? That. Oh, I don't even know what it's used for. Come on, give me Looks something. Like There's nothing a much. Oh. A phoenix. Look for a phoenix. Hugo. Hey. Something's wrong. I'm sure they hurt him too. Hey. I know things aren't turning out the way you expected, but uh, nothing ever changes, Amicia. But Aelia wouldn't let them hurt him, right? You. You let for done. No. I. I tried to stop it, but I. I know. You tried. Sorry. Hey, come here, you two. Sophia, where are you? Upstairs. How did you get there? Look behind the curtains. Ah, uh, yes, let's see. Come on, Hugo. What is this? No door. Some sort of uh, observation hallway? Should have probably seen what was through those doors, but I just didn't. Oh. What have you found? Your alchemist library. Looks like they were observing the child from here. Like he was in a cage. We're right above the laboratory table. It's wrong. Imagine these bastards standing there, looking at him. We have to focus on what they learned. I may have a lead. Any mention of a kill? No, but they took other notes. What is it? Your alchemists wrote down everything that happened to the carrier. It's sorted by date. The last entry was in the year 541. 541? What does it say? I haven't studied Latin since the convent, but it talks about Basilius. And, uh... Mm, Alia Dragus, his protector. It really did all happen. They were just like us. What happened to them? The Order took away the carrier from her. She rebelled and was arrested close to a round tower. They took her to a, a, a capella, a, a chapel inside a fort. And Basilius, where is he? It doesn't say. Well, we have something to go on. A fort, a round tower. They're coming. We're lucky they didn't come sooner. Yes, let's get out of here fast. Seal our determination. To stand by your side, day and night. I feel your sickness. I share your pain. We will protect you. We will care for you. I am the father. I am waiting for you. I am the mother. I am waiting for you. Join us. Whenever you feel ready, we are. You just couldn't. 
the truth. But it is a truth. We can still use it to change everything. Maybe. with my crew changes your notion of stench forever that was enough for me let's go to that fort Hugo there was no fort in my dream maybe but your dream put us on the right track look at all we've learned now we just have to find out the rest don't you want to know what happened to that alien and your ancestor to be all right. Um, can we take these stinky clothes off now? Yes, we should. And then chapter 10. Yeah, bloodline. The bloodline, Roman reigns. <laughs> yeah. All right. Like nothing happened. We're good. Especially you. You're the sneakiest child I've ever met. If there's no fort in your dream, then we'll look for the round tower, all right? All right. And maybe they decorated the island even more. Oh, so, man. that was... I don't even know what that was. Me neither. But we have a lead. Pragmatic. I like that. Why not check that map again, unless you know where that tower is? Hmm. Why not? That was quite something. But I still can't believe you went to a convent. My mother came from a wealthy family. They weren't exactly pleased when they found out my father was a smuggler. So, off to a convent I went to cleanse me of his sins. It wasn't very effective, it seems. I'd rather be a sinner and be free. So, I escaped, I joined my father and... We must be careful. If my dream is wrong, more things can be wrong. Hey, look around you. It's fine. We're centuries later, right? She's right. We're with you. On this brighter day, we celebrate the child of embers with our life, our joy, and the unity of the bond we all share with the mother. May the light of our souls wake the child from his deep slumber. May it lead him to our countess, brightest among the brightest souls, and make her heart complete. This may be the first day of a new era. Celebrate it! And may this night be brighter than your day! Fish, bread, fruit, serves! I've got everything for the table! Oh. 
Here we are. Looks like the real festivities have begun. Let's pass through here. It'll be nice. They still look happy. Blessed be the child. Blessed be the mother. Blessed be the days when he'll come back. Look at them. They sure know how to celebrate. What if they knew the truth? They don't need it. And we don't need them to know. I wish I was like them. That's our tower over there, right? From it. Well, a piece of it, at least. Everything is so old here. How can there be anything that helps? There will be. The past never dies, Hugo. Visions of it traveled through your dream, didn't they? And that sanctuary still had a lot to tell. Mm -hmm. We'll find something in that chapel. Almost there. Hugo, wait. Would my knight conquer that tower for me? What? I want to see how you charge it. Claim it for me. Go. Yes. Stay in sight. Yes. Thanks. It's a bit hard for him. I... I wanted to ask you. Are you sure about all this? It seems like a heavy burden for him. I know. And it is. That's why we're doing this. Listen, we may not know each other well, but... You're chasing ghosts. Ghosts that scare him. We've gone through hell, Sophia. You can't imagine. I can't. The question is, does he need more? We have nothing else. I believe you. Fine. You're so slow. Hey, be nice to old people. You're not that old. So is that tower ours yet? No, the door is locked. <sighs> locked from the other side. Time to take a little look around? I didn't tell you, but Hugo is king, and I'm captain of his guard. So you rule this thing. But you can be my smuggler. A royal contract. I'm honored. Don't forget we still have a real fort to conquer. Ah, oh, right. The fort and its chapel. Not really no use for a lot of these, uh, these things you're giving me. Follow me. I'm not pretty much use for them. Mind the drop. Oh. Right. Climb up. Yes. Through here. Something, but yes, there you go. Careful with the drop here. Very well. to go? Yes. Let's get going. There it is. Let's hope this fort isn't as crowded as their sanctuary. It surely doesn't sound as appealing. I don't think the Count and Countess dug into the Order's writings. They must have considered the place too sacred. There is only one way to find out. Yes. 
Let's move. Hmm. See if there's any other cutscene after this, and then we'll end the video. What's going on? There's a storm coming. How can you tell? Trust me. He's sad. All this because of a dream. When's the last time a dream meant everything to you? The day I stopped being a child. That's a pretty flower. You want it? Of course. Hmm. There was a time when I was the one getting the flower. Time passes, sweetheart. They grow up. All right. Let's get to this fort. Quickly. We could stay here. I like it here. Staying here won't help you, Hugo. We must move. Plus, there's a storm coming. Alright, okay, cool. I'll end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>